Hello, kings, queens, nerds, geeks, Powder Milk here, and welcome to my first recording on my new PC. Oh my god, this is fantastic. Ah, uh, uh, I'm looking at it right now, and everything's so crystal clear. Ah, uh, oh boy, I'm so happy about this. Oh gosh, oh god, oh my gosh, guys. New PC, new everything, oh god. Also, guys, I wanna, since I'm making this video of my first recording, there's a reason why I'm doing it a vlog. Because I like, made some decisions recently. And, guys, uh, recently I have decided to actually be, uh, in the past, guys, I've said, and, and several times, I don't think I've said it on camera, that I never wanted to be a sergeant. But, I've recently made a decision, I've made up my mind, and I've decided that I want to become a non-commissioned officer, a sergeant. I decided to want to strive for that. I'm now currently doing my best to gain all the knowledge I can. I'm hoping my sergeant helps me gain some leadership experience and all that, guys. So, and all that. Ah, uh, God, I really want this. I want this. Like, uh, just recently, a few days ago, I memorized the whole non-commissioned officer, the creed of the non-commissioned officer. Um, the, or the NCO Creed. Um, losing the army, know what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, now that I finally have this computer and all that, it's gonna make, um, now that I finally have this computer and everything, it's gonna make things, content a lot easier to do. I can do more advanced games and everything, and I can do things a lot better. I won't have much lag problems now. Everything's gonna be so much better. And second of all, guys, um, next week, or the evening after next week, I will be going to a field. I told you this before. <sighs> oh, I'm going to a field, and I'll be gone for an entire month. And I do a, and I apologize if I can't bring any content for you guys. And during that time, it's because I don't want to. I I don't think I'll even have contact with my wife during that time. It's going to be really tough for me, and I, when I get back, I may not post for a few days. May not, but then when I do post, I'll be back. I'll be there for you guys. I'll be doing things just for you guys. I, um, yeah, a lot of things have happened, so. Uh, yeah. Anyway, also guys, I want to ask for some uh, little support on the Sergeant thing. Um, he being an NCO is going to be tough, and I, I hope that I can get as much support from you guys from all across the world to help me strive to be a great leader, because I want to be a leader. I want, I want it. I want it. I want to be able to teach other, other soldiers, other subordinates, all my subordinates in the future, I want to teach them to be great eight soldiers. I want to teach them to be great. I want to be great like my sergeants were. Like, I remember in basic training, um, if she ever watches this video, uh, Drill Sergeant Corbett. Um, she uh, once told me one time, it was my night of fire guard, and she was leaving to go home. And I stood there. Parade rest, hold on, I'm going to stand up, just to demonstrate. I was standing at parade rest, and holding my rifle like this, and I was waiting for to be briefed on my duties during my fire guard shift, and she walked up to me, stared at me right in the face, crossed her arms, and she looked at me, asked me my age, and I told her I was 19. I remember her whispering, so young. And then she said, you know, I think you're going to be a great, great, great soldier one day. I remember that now. Because the other day, Boz was giving me a lecture. And Boz, yes, is now considered my, my leader. As much as he's my best friend, he's also my leader. And I have to treat him as such. One time he was giving me a lecture, he was in my house, giving me a lecture about it. And I sat and I thought about it for a minute. I thought, you know what? Maybe I should do this. And I, 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 no, not that I should, but I want to. I should be doing what I wanted to do when I first joined the army. And I was letting all this negativity in the army make me change my views about it. Like the people that irritate me, the people that don't like me, 
and all the bullshit that we go through all the time. But I realize there's a reason why there's this bullshit. Test me. The stuff there is put there to test my limits. Whether I belong there or not. But I feel that I should be doing this. For doing this for myself, most of all. It will help me in many ways. It'll make me better in civilian life if I ever decide to leave the army. And then there's the decision, then there's a point in my life where I have to decide whether I want to leave the army, whether I want to make a career or not. Or retire after 20 years. May, in the future I may become a sergeant major for all I know. Or a, or a, or a first sergeant. I wouldn't mind becoming a first sergeant. Though that would mean I would be a lot of my plate. Even being a sergeant, I was allowed to be my plate, lots of be my plate, such as NCOERs and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot I want, want to do. There's a lot, and it's going to be take a long way. I got to practice for a board, an in, uh, a promotion board, so that way I can get ready. And then after that, I have to a BLC, and once I have, my, and all my points are already uh, up ahead of time, so I'm already ready to go. So once I just pass BLC, once I pass a board and BLC. I have the rank already ready for it. The problem being is the board is very tough. And DLC, it's, it's, all it is is training. I don't think it'd be hard to fail. I think it'd be hard to fail if you didn't try. But I'm going to pass the board, pass DLC. I'm going to be a great sergeant. I, I will be a great sergeant. Although, there's going to be a lot of jokes down the road about me being Sergeant Carter, if any of you get that reference. Huh? Huh? No, but yeah, I'm not talking about Full Metal Jacket, different thing. It's, the show was literally called uh, uh, Private Pile. Well, either way, I'm going to need your guys' help and support to vote the way. I'm right now thinking about the NCO Creed, because every line of it I have to take to my take to heart. And part of the first paragraph set as two things that I believe that you should bring credit upon the non-commissioned officer corps, the your military service, and your country. That's part of the... I'm not going to go through the same whole thing. I'm just going to say sections that I that are most important. That part says means you have to show that you are an NCO, a proud NCO, one that is willing to take the effort to do it. The other, The next line in the first paragraph is I will not use my grade or position to attain pleasure, profit, or personal safety. Meaning I cannot use my rank to be to do things only for me. I should not be a toxic leader. What is it starting to say? I shouldn't be using any, my rank for to gain personal gain. Though technically being an MCO does give you a personal gain by giving you more pay. I'll be making a lot more money if I become a sergeant, and throughout the years I'll be making more money, more and more and more. And then I can also progress to becoming a staff sergeant and, or in, and stuff like that, which is going to take a lot more effort. And then, then paragraph two it says competence is my watchword. Is the next lot I know that means I got to be competent. I can't be incompetent. I, I have to be useful. I can't. I have to gain the knowledge. I have to know what I'm doing. I have to gain that leadership experience. That's why specialists are basically are trained for this. Specialists and and um, corporals are trained for this. Um, then the next line is my two basic responsibilities will always be uppermost in my mind: accomplishment of my mission and and welfare of my soldiers. You got to be able to do things. You got to be able to. You gotta be have the capability of accomplishing a mission. You gotta know what you're doing to accomplish that mission too. And to, and and what helps support that is the welfare of your soldiers. You gotta you gotta take care of them. You have to train them. You have to understand their problems if they're going through anything. You gotta to make their er, your time their time. Which goes on to, on to which also follows under the next line, the next few lines. I I am aware of my a my I am aware of my role as a non commissioned officer I non commissioned officer and I will fulfill my responsibilities inherited in that role. Yeah. 
And then it goes, all soldiers are are entitled to outstanding leadership. I will provide that leadership. Self-explanatory right there. And then it goes, I know my soldiers, and I'll always place their needs above my own. There, that line there, those few lines, is basically what all that covers. I will communicate consistently with my, my soldiers, you know, and will never leave them uninformed. Continues on. I will be fair and par impartial when recommending both rewards and punishments. And all, all that there entitles to that first sentence, the, first, the second sentence of the second paragraph. All of it together goes under those things. Then the third line, the third paragraph, goes like this. Officers of my unit will have maximum time to accomplish their duties. They will not have to accomplish mine. That line there, that line, means I have to know what I'm doing and I can't have officers telling me how to do it. I got to know my job. It is my job to do that. In the first lot, in the first few lines of the first paragraph, it says, as this, No one is more professional than I. I am a non-commissioned officer, a leader of soldiers. As a non-commissioned officer, I realize I'm a member of a time honor corps, which is known as the backbone of the army. We are the backbone of the army, as it said. And then NCOs are the backbone of the army. And that's why we cannot have, a, that's why we gotta be great. The next line says, I will earn their respect and confidence, as well as that of my soldiers. Now guys, I know it looks like I'm reading it, but I'm not. I'm just saying it out loud. And that's pretty self-explanatory right there. I am loyal to those whom I serve. Seniors, peers, and subordinates alike. Again, self-explanatory. I will exercise initiative by... Sorry, I'm still practicing this creed. I will exercise initiative by taking appropriate action in the absence of orders. Well, initiative, guys, is meaning, I don't know if who knows this, but initiative means doing things without them being told. That's ba it basically, defi the sentence defined itself, basically. Taking responsibility in the absence of orders. That's what basically initiative is. And then it goes, I'll, I'll not compromise my integrity, nor my moral courage. It means I must do this tactfully, I must do this morally. And uh, you must be honest with it. You've got to have some morals and rights. Don't break the law. Don't use your right to break the law. And then the final lines go like this. I will not forget, nor allow my comrades to forget, that we are professionals, non-commissioned officers, leaders. That entire creed, as I was re memorizing it, I started to realize what that meant. Then I started thinking about the people who do not represent this creed at all. I have met NCOs who go who goes against several lines of these creeds, and I thought I should be better than them. I shall be a great NCO. I shall follow this creed to the core, and that's what I know. I'm rambling on. It's been going. On this this recording has been going on for like 15 minutes of me rambling about being an NCO. But the reason being is, guys, is I'm really passionate about this. And guys, I hope you guys support me along the way. Well, anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. And stay nerdy, my friends. Bye-bye!